these disorders are rare disorders. Um, so meetings like today's, you get a, a lot of people uh, who have a fairly extensive experience themselves, and uh, their collaborative experience, though, is incredibly valuable uh, you know, in our understanding of these diseases. My background is in school health and I believe very strongly in the connection between health and academic success. I've worked with parents whose children have Chiari in the past and there's a great need to develop resources to meet the needs of these children in the school setting and that's why I'm here today. Well, I was quite amazed by how many different things go along with Chiari, how complicated the problems are, how we have to begin to re re redefine what the outcomes are and, and what's a success or not, find out what's linked together. I was extraordinarily impressed with the idea of the genetic markers for infl inflammation and why things like Chiari tend to run in families. Uh, there's a lot of cross-fertilization from a lot of different uh, sources and I think that's extremely impressive and extremely important. Uh, it's difficult to solve, if not impossible, to solve a problem without bringing a, a variety of people with different expertise together. Uh, for many years, neurosurgeons have tried to solve the Chiari malformation problems in syringomyelia without a lot of success. And uh, scientists don't have the clinical uh, abilities to uh, know what the clinical problems are. Uh, Patients and families are emotionally vested, but they don't have the background. Uh, engineers have a lot of techniques, but, but no real structure to apply it in. I think this uh, organization is the best at pulling together uh, experts from all over the world uh, to put their uh, heads together and try to uh, discuss the problems that, that these kids uh, or, ch or adults face uh, and how to solve them. Uh, more than met my, my expectations. Uh, it is a, a, an honor and a privilege to be with these thought leaders in neurosurgery. Uh, I think the, uh, the ideas and the, uh, the, the new thinking about how we treat Chiari, uh, it, it begins in this group. Uh, they're an extraordinary group of people. It's been a, um, a very meaningful day. Well, the scale is limited. This is a real challenge for us. We need to develop methods to better communicate, collaborate. Of course, with the internet now, there's great potential. A um, number of folks are exploring ways to increase this collaboration. So it should be much greater to share ideas. I think meetings like today's Think Tank are critically important, mostly to get our doctors and our medical professionals and the people, the, the, the allied specialties together, people that don't necessarily have the time or they're from different parts of the country, but they're all working on the same piece of the puzzle here and so it allows us to make sure that we're not duplicating efforts, it, it inspires people with new ideas to take different has that they would have not thought of otherwise. Um, I think that the questions that the, that the medical professionals pose to each other are so interesting and so important because you can, you can see, first of all, most of them are very open to the questions and you can see how it, it changes the course of research and how it changes uh, protocols because people are kind of questioning what's going on and offering suggestions and comments. So I think it's great to get them together. I wish we could do it more than once a year, but because of everybody's schedules, you know, we're just grateful that we have all these brilliant minds together in one place once a year. Well, I, I think it's very important to do that because I think it would be a mistake for us to think that we have the only or the best answer to some of these complex problems. And I think people in other parts of the world may come up with new ideas and or have different things that have worked that we haven't tried. And uh, so from that point of view, it's very important, let alone that the more people, more, the larger the number, the more valuable the database will be that we accumulate in our experience. So I think that's very important. Well, um, I'm a pediatric and adult neurosurgeon in Brown, and um, I've always been struggling by the fact that there are no um, guidelines for 
diagnosis and um, treatment and surgical management. Uh, and I do feel that future trials need to, design, need to be designed to identify best surgical standards for those patients. And I just feel that this group is uh, the group that can accomplish uh, and set future standards and guidelines for the treatment of Chiari patients. Um, right now it is already and it's going to get bigger than that, it is becoming a sort of a um, lighthouse in the field of carrying malformations and ingomaria. So sort of a point of reference at the same time a, a point of meeting for people to interact. Like I was saying, telling to uh, Dorothy the other day, uh, one of the functions of, of CSF could be that one being the match.com for the people who are dealing with this disorder. I'm just so proud of this whole organization and the amount of tasks that we've accomplished, the, the people that we've brought into our group, and I am looking forward to doing a registry which has not been done at this point, um, which will change the way people are treated for Chiari, Syringomyelia, and related disorders. It's a very exciting time.